The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince George arrived in Sydney, greeted with a royal welcome. The eight-month-old prince was carried down the steps of the aircraft by his mother before meeting Australian dignitaries, among them Prime Minister Tony Abbott. Thousands turned out for a glimpse of the royal couple at Australia's iconic Sydney Opera House to mark the start of their 10-day visit. Fans clutched posters, flags, flowers and even small boots for George. The Duke and Duchess are expected to bring the eight-month-old prince to Taronga Zoo in Sydney on Sunday, where an enclosure housing bilbies, a rabbit-like marsupial, will be named after him. I suspect George, George's first word might be bilby, <laughs> only because koala is harder to say. We really look forward to our time here together as a family. The royal couple were treated to an Aboriginal performance at the Opera House before enjoying a reception with a view. Kate and William were once again showered with gifts for Prince George, including a miniature cricket bat and hat. They left by boat for Admiralty House, the official Sydney residence of the Governor-General of Australia. On the last leg of their Antipodean trip, the royal family are expected to visit the Blue Mountains, as well as Brisbane, Adelaide and Canberra.